All right, so the first place I'm going to go is Zillow. And here I have zoomed in on a town called Seward, Alaska, located here in the south central tip. It's a, sort of a seasonal oceanside tourist town, a great place to potentially invest in a short term rental. And I'm zooming in on the main city grid here. Uh, like many other places, there's just not a whole lot on the market. This is a lot, so not interested in that. This one I was potentially looking at, and it's a uh, $525,000 list, list price. It's two small, uh, older built cottages. I mean, not, not enough room for a family or anyone, but could be pretty good for a couple. So I'll go to my model here. And the first thing I'll plug in is the purchase price. Um, you know, the asking price probably makes sense right now. It's, uh, it was just listed. Um, so it looks a little dated. Um, probably going to need to put in some initial renovation costs. Let's just call it 15 K to get up and running down payment. Um, I'm going to do 25%. Uh, so 0 0.25. And then 30 year term, fortunately interest rates are more like 7% um, for something like this. So the second spot I'll go is Airbnb. And you know, there's dozens of places you could do market research for short term rentals. Um, but I don't have a subscription to any of those. I'm sure they're great, but I'm just going to type in Seward here as if I was going to travel and stay there and it is Alaska it's seasonal so I'm going to grab the end of the summer here because I'm sure prices are much higher in the middle of summer so this might represent sort of an average and let's find something similar in a similar location small town so um, here here it is on Zillow so kind of right there in the middle so looks like there's a couple you know $200 places that's a small house that's probably a comp this is probably a comp an older Kwanzaa hut that's pretty cool um, and that's an apartment so that's not really a comp so maybe $200 um, seems appropriate off peak but not you know in the middle of winter so um, there's two houses um, so we do need to model both um, the vacancy can be tricky here because it is seasonal and even when you're running, you know, back to backs, you're, you're still going to have roughly 50% vacancy. Um, so utilities, maintenance, uh, bed tax and sales tax amount to 11% here in this particular town. Uh, like I said, two cottages. So let's multiply the whole revenue by two. That'll make everything obviously look a lot better. So right now we're sitting at above our hurdle rate. We're at about an 8% IRR for property tax. Let's go back to Zillow. It's nice how they put this in here. Yeah. So this is just for one of the houses, 508. The, the second one is going to be valued roughly the same. So I don't know, what is that, 20, 2700 bucks a year, um, $2,800, well, let us just leave it at 3000 or what does 2500 do? Yeah, barely changes it, of course. So that knocked our NPV down a little bit. So really, we're, we're not positive free cash flow in the first couple of years. Um, modeling this and I think I'm kind of modeling like a middle of the road. I'm not being conservative. I'm not being over the top. So check out my video on how to build this model and uh, I'll put it in the description below this one. Thanks for watching and hopefully this is useful to you.